Hey guys, this is Ashwini and welcome back to the next video of Spring Boot. Till now we have completed a couple of things like dependency injection and uh, in theoretical way and as well as in implementation of dependency injection which we have done our previous video, okay, in this video. So you may be asking me, hey Ashwini, uh, why you directly jump into the dependency injection? There is a lot of things before dependency injection that's like uh, lookup and conceptual lookup. We don't know about uh, the theory of dependency injection. So uh, intentionally I have introduced this dependency injection first because I have something in my mind what is if now I will tell you okay this is an IOC container and this work like this you have this thing in your mind okay yeah I should you tell this is a dependency injection okay so in this video what is today's topic is that is IOC container we will see each and everything from where this dependency injection came and what is the IOC container is and what is the origin of these all the concepts okay तो ये हमने पहले पढ़ चुका है तो हमें पता होगा सो लेट्स सी टू जंप इनटू द आईओसी कंटेनर वी फर्स्ट हैव दिस थिंग इन आवर माइंड लाइक व्हाट इज द बिहेवियर ऑफ दिस बीन फैक्ट्री इफ आई डू लाइक आई क्रिएटिंग अ दिस एक्सएमएल बीन फैक्ट्री एंड आई आई एम रीडिंग दैट माय कॉन्फिगरेशन फाइल इफ यू नॉट अवेयर अबाउट इट जस्ट गो टू माय प्रीवियस वीडियो दिस वीडियो एंड यू विल फाउंड दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जांपल व्हिच वी हैव इंप्लीमेंटेड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो okay so as what do you think like if i do get beans whatever the object is the framework will give my object to bean factory and we are performing operations back in background there are a lot of things is happened which our developer doesn't know okay because i am implementing of my program i don't know whatever things in our background is what is the thing is going in our framework okay so to understand that because it is very important to understand what all those things are and what is a picture of ioc container because from the ioc container two things will be generated dependency lookup and dependency injection and inside the lookup we have two more things like dependency lookup and like lookup and conceptual lookup and injection we have setter injection and con uh, like constructor injection so we will talk about each and everything in detail so do not worry about it first understand if i am doing this thing then what is the behavior of my application or my framework okay so i have put all these things in a note here you can read it one by one with me okay or if you want this i will attach in the description okay just let me know so the container what is this bean container okay bean factory container will start and it will not create any bean object immediately and it will perform a certain action as i say you need to understand this complete line what is the behavior of this you need to understand this one then only you have a grab upon ioc container then you are in a position to answer like what is the dependency injection okay so we say like okay it will take it, it will uh, take bean configuration file name and location from the resource object which resource object uh, from here this is the resource object class path resource because inside a constructor of sml bean factory we are passing this uh, xml uh, sorry new class path resource from here it will take all these things and it will read and search all these things and it will pass after passing you can read all these points okay i will attach in a description if i gonna read this point one by one it will take time let me give you the overview what happened when you uh, run this program first uh, like uh, xml bean factory contact to the resources object and it will try to read your that file it will pass check each and every things tokenize that if that file is okay is there is not, no error in file so what it will do okay uh, let me explain you that this is your program okay let me copy this one then we have that uh, good idea in our mind so if you have this thing okay so before creating an object it will read your file and if your file is okay there is no error which file i'm talking about this configuration file this i'm talking about this file okay so now if this file doesn't have any error your framework uh, successfully compiled it or parsed it now what happen inside your jvm what this bean factory will do inside your jvm this is a jvm okay this is a jvm inside a jvm one logical memory will be created like this this logical memory is known as ioc container ioc container okay and or people say is core container also core
core container why it says a container and all okay i will talk it just a little bit upcoming second okay so this is a ioc container why it's called ioc container this is a logical memory okay and ioc means okay inversion of control we know that but what is this ioc container this is a principal kind of thing okay because ioc means uh, this principal says collaborating object plus managing uh, spelling mistake managing the life cycle okay managing the life cycle of an object ioc is a principle which says okay collaborating object and managing a life cycle and object collaboration will happen in two ways that is dependency lookup and dependency injection that is dependency lookup and that is dependency injection and inside we have this two point more two point two more point and this inside this also we have like setter uh, setter and uh, like setter injection right and first one and second one is constructor one okay this you have people talk about in and all these things in detail don't, don't worry about it okay yeah so now what happened when you run this program IOC container will be generated inside a JVM memory. If you don't understand these all things, just park it aside. Do not worry about anything. We will discuss in later. Now, first understand if you run this program, what is happening in a background? One memory created in a JVM. Okay. And that memory is divided into the two part. Here it is a metadata. And here this top memory also divided into two part. At first part, it has a reference what reference uh, let me copy that also this file okay mm, okay so we are having this also here so it says we have this account object right Our account reference so here uh, this is called account okay and one object will be created here why it is creating a logical memory and object why it is not going directly to the file and fetching from there because this file fetching operations are mechanical operations input i uh, like uh, input output operations in java are mechanical operation and if you like put all these things at once that will be electronic operations and you know that mechanical operations are costly and this uh, electronic operations are not costly okay because was zyada time lenge ab main bar bar apni file ko read karunga object create karunga to wo zyada time lega right ab hamare paas yahan pe kya tha file mein configuration file mein what we have here we have property and reference so after reading that file parsing all these file we have this logical memory and reference and object and this object is mapped to the id and what is the id uh, let me copy all this also we need no need to be scroll again and again so we have this id okay yeah so with the id of this user or account to jo mera object hoga wo is id se map ho jayega like user now this object will be a user ka object hai to id user se map ho gaya so whenever you say get beans okay now come to this point after getting a object bean factory object which uh, when we access a get beans method okay bean factory will set the respective bean configuration so all these things will be happen after the like ioc mem uh, logical memory creation so this logical memory create are uh, called as ioc container so whenever you say get beans mujhe ye wala object chahiye account wala okay so do not uh, worried about it ye to cast karne ke liye okay so mujhe ek account wala object chahiye so might be you having one more object here so that is id with account right account ki id hogi to aur wo assign hoga mera account se to sorry this is this might be a user okay and here yahan mera account hoga when i passes this account it will check okay i have that account object in the jvm memory logical memory and before returning the object this ioc container will check okay you have anything called uh, why i am going up 
I have anything called property or reference. It means you have to manage the life cycle of an object. That is, you have to inject all these things. You have to inject the user object reference. So this class object you have to inject in my account class and in the property of intra. Okay, got it. So this is a all picture about IOC container, how it is managed. If you not understand, just let me know. I will make you understand in next video. Okay, till then I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.